picked up Maxima <clears throat> Premium 4 oil. All the requirements in the manual are met by this oil. And it was only $25. And then for the first time, I picked up the K&N oil filter for this bike. So you can just put your torque wrench on it and set the uh, torque correctly. Uh, whereas before I was using the high flow and I had to use my really awkward uh, oil filter wrench. Oil and filter change. Necessary amount of engine oil. Oil and filter change. 3.6 liters or 3.8 quarts. Look at that. All right, so we need bike stands. Actually, first let's get the bike put out where it goes. All right, there we go. Now, I have discovered that using bike stands for this is quite nice because it uh, gives you clearance you don't have otherwise and makes life a lot easier. Look at that, can you see that? Look at that clearance. So now we grab the oil bucket. to go bring the set over and it never hurts to have the motor a little warm <clears throat> sometimes they do sometimes they don't I don't want to get it hot I don't want to burn myself. So I'm just going to spin a little bit, not much. Just enough to pump all the oil into the top of the engine. I'm being silly. All right, that's good. Like I said, not a lot. All right. What size is that? 15, or is it like the weird 16? It's a 17. All right. I think she's upstairs too, Ava. Break this loose, start draining oil. That was nice. Came loose pretty easy. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> we'll wipe this off, let that drain out. Of course, I always like to use one of the oil rags. Let that lake out and while it's doing that, let's go break loose our filter. I use, I was using a different brand oil filter than this K&N and it doesn't have the nut on it. And my oil wrench is just a little bit too big. So I use a uh, inner tube for grip. So it's a little awkward, which is why I was kind of motivated to get the k in. So we're just gonna try to turn this and break it loose. So this one's coming loose. And we'll get some oil on the header, but I just spray it off. I don't worry about it. Some people put aluminum foil down. I don't bother. I just let it glock. All right, spin it. Okay, and let it drain. Oil still looks really clean, which is really good. So pretty straightforward, let the oil drain out. We'll put the new filter on in just a moment here. First, you need to make sure when you take off the oil filter that the old seal came with it. You need to make sure that the gasket or the O-ring, uh, as these have, 
uh, came off with the filter. Make sure it's not stuck to this surface. Uh, if it is and you put the new one on and you don't notice it, it'll leak like crazy. And then you can grab fresh oil. I'm just using a little bit of the engine oil here to add a little more lubricant to the O-ring seal so that when you're tightening it, it doesn't grab the dry surface and wrinkle up. Uh, and you can rip uh, and or even fold over the O-ring seal and that would cause a leak. I never wait for this thing to drain down to zero. The amount of oil you're going to add to the crankcase just completely negates the tiny amount that's left in there. So we'll just spin this down by hand until it touches the crankcase cover. The manual says 23 newton meters on the oil plug and 20 newton meters on the oil filter. Right there. I don't think I've ever tried this before. I can get on there, then that's gold. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Let's try it. One more. 20. Well, hey, I feel so much better about that. Now we gotta fill it up. Now we need oil. I'm gonna clean off the pipes. I'll bet. Now I need 3.2 quarts of Earl. Oil filler cap. This is the oil window. No scratchy. It's clean. Okay. Pour some oil. Now this doesn't have any marks on it. It's 3.784. So almost all of it, but if you remember we need 3.6. All right, let's pour. All right, now what normally happens is it's above the window here and you run it. Wow, it's crystal clear looking stuff. We'll run it briefly. Oops, and then it should go down. That should be good enough. All right, give it a minute or two and let it settle down. That's nice. It looks like, I'm going to take this off, if you can see it, it's right on the full mark. Looks like it's exactly on the full mark. It looks good. All right, oil's changed. I'm going to clean up real quick and uh, uh, start the spark plugs. All right, old oil we're going to put in this. <clears throat> Man, even coming out of this dirty old bucket it looks clean. It's a good indication of a healthy engine. Okay, put you 
the back. Put it down here with my other used oil, which will go to the shop to be turned in. All right, spark plug time. 